The Environment and Landscapes program is an educational project specially designed for undergraduate students pursuing a degree in environmental science or a joint degree in biology and environmental science at the University of Navarra. Its mission is to promote a deep scientific and cultural understanding of the interrelationship between humans and the earth. The program is neither an add-on course nor a specific subject, but rather a specific methodology of integrated learning as a part of the overall academic program. What this means is that the program is based on spending the majority of time doing practical fieldwork separated into three different geographical scales, local, regional, and international. On a local level, the program focuses on the study of landscapes within an area between the Cantabrian Sea, the Atlantic Pyrenees, and the Ebrio Valley. These study trips last a whole day and take place on school days. In contrast, the regional study trips will be on weekends so that the students can visit and study areas which are further away but which have a special relevance, for example, national parks. The international study trips will take place during the summer period. On these trips, the students will discover challenges in environmental management in geographical, political, social, and cultural surroundings on a global scale, all of which will be explained by local experts. The first international trip will bring students to the place which provided the majority of coal consumed during the period of more than two centuries, from the beginning of the Industrial Revolution until now. Using Cardiff as a base, students will explore its bay in the Bristol Channel coast, visit the mining valleys, and explore Brecon Beacons National Park. The second trip will be to California. The visit and field work will involve a cross-country tour starting at San Francisco Bay and will finish in Sierra Nevada after having traveled 1,030 kilometers. During these 10 days, the students will see some of the most incredible landscapes in the world, such as Yosemite, the forest of red sequias, or the places which bore witness to the gold rush of 1848. During the third year, we will go to one of the most biodiverse countries on the planet. Costa Rica stands out in its region for its high environmental standing, democracy, and social progress. There, the students will gain first-hand experience of initiatives which involve increasing sustainable development in the following three areas, environmental, social, and economic. They will visit the Osea Peninsula, the national parks of Corcovado, Irathu Volcano, and Earth University. In the fourth year, the students will get to know the enormous diversity of the Pacific, Andean, and Amazonian regions of Ecuador. Here, they will study the different relationships which the communities have established with their surroundings, as well as the implications of the different models of development. The program wants to underline the connection between social and environmental programs. It also wishes to improve our understanding of the countryside as an expression of what we are and of what we do individually and collectively, and the environmental and social consequences which come from that. Students will do a minimum of 120 days fieldwork during the degree, divided into 40 separate trips which can be regional, national, and international. The program involves the collaboration of universities from different countries. Accommodation, transport, and educational costs are covered by the registration process without any additional payment required. Finally, the Environment and Landscapes program is not evaluated with normal exams, but rather through the evaluation of learning from the students' fieldwork. We seek a critical and integrated understanding of the enormous challenges which are derived from the relationship between humans and the Earth. To sum up, the program provides direct contact with the environment, the on-site study of landscape through the people who live there, through the landscape's own history, or through its uses. And finally, an outstanding university qualification.